foot on that one. I haven't seen a building with a foot on that one. See, guys, I think that's part of the problem with these hints, is that they're hinting at things I haven't seen yet, as if I've seen them already. Am I being timed? Like, is it getting darker? I feel like it might be actually be legitimately getting darker as I go. Well, I don't know if it got darker after I tested the one building so that it would be darker by the time I got to the next building. Regardless, I don't like anything that's going on here. All this, all of it, fucking kiss my ass. God damn it. The, the Cthulhu things annoyed me now. Like if that's, Cthulhu is a fucking bit player in Lovecraft's mythos. He was just a fucking, he was like a legitimate nobody. Like, as far as like Lovecraft's monsters go, he's like, I'm trying to just figure out a way to describe him. It'd be like, if instead of like, in a world where like, fuck, I can't even think of a way to do this. In a world where you could have a villain that is like Sauron, you've chosen Smeagol, Gollum, as like the 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 villain. Like that's that's the equivalent here. It's like and even Sauron isn't even like the biggest baddest dude in Tolkien mythos. Oh, it's the fucking building. Okay. What the fuck? was that is this I think there's a building or two down there okay it's lagging now it's really lagging now I might have to bump the graphics down again back down to where they started Oh, of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, close the... Clo close the door. Please close the door. I saw it a second ago. Where is it? God damn it. No. Fuck. We were going towards the portal when that being appeared out of nowhere. It's a miracle that we managed to escape and take cover in some shelter. One of us was seriously injured, though. I doubt he'll make it through the night. It was awful. That monster tore the flesh from his arm. Only the bones were left. Oh, no. It's locked. So there's blood there traces leading toward the stairs. What do I what do I do? Am I missing something? Do I need to... There's no way to open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Examine. Blood there. Traces leading towards the stairs. Um. Ah. Attached to the... Press F to use lantern. Be careful. What? No. Please. I don't... It's locked. I 
I assume what they're saying is that it's gonna attract attention to me. Swanky, of course. I don't know. Lock that open the door. I don't wanna walk the dinosaur, please. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Increase it could be useful. What the fuck? I don't like this. Saw it there. It's been hours now. We can't open the door. It would be the end of us, of all of us. There's a drainage pipe that ends in a nearby ravine. We could escape through it without being noticed, but we need a, to lower the water in the pool and work out where it starts. Okay. Got it. Um, so this place is obviously no good. Should have had the tubes could burst any moment. Tools left. So, what am I supposed to do? So I think I'm gonna have to run from the monster here in a moment. Oh no. I wonder if I ever actually have to. If it's just like a sort of atmospheric walking simulator type of deal. I thought I could get out through here. Is that the whole point? Is it out here? Do I have to crawl through something? Ah. Those hands. 
Better not be hands. No, I'm not looking around. I'm not gonna turn around. Just gonna keep going forward. Good to go. So hold on. This just leads outside. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Seems to have ended like up like the first one. I really need to get away from here sharpish. Yeah, no shit. Where am I supposed to be going? Here? No. It's locked, there has to be a way to open it. Okay, so the iron bar starts this whole process. Okay. Oh, it's already going, isn't it? Yep. Now what do I do? What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Get it. I don't get it. What the fuck? What's happening? I don't. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Earlier, when I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on with that ladder, I did see something about this, but I didn't actually look at it. But this is kind of bullshit. So I am going to look at that and see what happens. See what they have to say. Oh. Alright, so I'm supposed to just bibbity bobby back the fuck up, essentially. Okay. I really don't like the noise though. Cause this music sounds like I'm about to get fucking spooked. Okay. okay. 
so I'm just gonna pry it open with the thing, huh? Oh my god. How long have I been playing? Can I stop yet? Oh, you probably can't tell from my voice, but I have a massive fucking smile on my face. Oh my god, it's only been like 20, 30 minutes since the last time I checked that. The underground structure. I was trapped in that building. Luckily, I managed to force the door and get out before it was too late. Something, I don't know what, but something terrible is killing everyone. It seems to feed on human flesh, organs, everything but the bones. Whatever it is, it was in there, right next to me. I uncovered some more information about this, uh, this time about a portal of some kind. There was no more details. If I'm going to survive, I'll need to keep digging and pay attention to every sound and movement. I need to keep moving. I have no choice. But I think I see something moving over there in the darkness by the trees. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to bump down these settings real quick. Low. High, low, high. Low. Apply. Yes. So we're gonna see this smurf the fuck out for a second. And by, I don't know why I'm saying, call, why I said it like that, but. If the main menu to apply all changes, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Because it's just having to reload at a lower graphics setting. Hold on. I'll skip this. Okay, no need. Okay, well, we're back. Um, there's that beeping again. It's like it's like radar beeping. Guess I just need to keep going. Um, okay. Well, there's another little thing. What the fuck? Uh, um, okay. I must be on the right track, it's auto-saving. It's not one of those. I think I'm fine without the light. I don't know if you guys will be able to see very well. Because I don't know what the capture is going to be like. But that's... I, I have a decent enough amount of light for myself. Oh my god. Okay. Let's, uh. Doesn't look like there's a difference. It's an old house. Yeah. I'm not sure what else they would be. Sorry, excuse me, one sorry. <laughs> you have one of those moments where it's like your brain your like nose tingles like it's gonna sneeze and then it just like shoots into your brain and you're just like, Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze and then you in no way sneeze. Come on, come on. What the fuck? What? I don't like it. It's locked, which means that I'm going to have to open it at some point. Oh. Alright, 
earth? Why are they here? I don't know, man. The book continues to furnish us with clues, and what we are discovering is very interesting indeed. The large stones that form uh, that form a circle in the woods are ancient monoliths, and they have a direct connection with the machine. Indeed, one of the drawings represents a pair of large pylons at the center of the monoliths. monoliths. It would appear that their function is to channel the machine's energy to a small circular platform. The metallic parts that we found in the buried room are, as far as we can tell, a part of the structure, which have since been dismantled. We will attempt to rebuild it exactly where it was in the middle of those ancient stones. Okay, so it seems suspiciously like what I ended up showing up on. Direct connection to the machine. Indeed, one of the drawings represents a pair of large pylons at the center. The function is to channel the machine's energy to a small circular platform. So, it's a teleporter of some sort. Guess that's what this is. Okay. Though it doesn't explain what the big silver thing is. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need some light for that. I'm not looking up. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. All right. All right. Here's another page. We're sheltering the old abandoned mine to hide from that horrible thing. It must be the chosen one's fault again. We can't live like this anymore, constantly paying for their curiosity. Over the past few days, they've been more excited than usual. We think they've discovered something important. Not that they've revealed anything to us yet, but I've seen that one of them, the one who lives in the cow shed, is meticulously keeping a journal. I stole his keys so I can get into his house, but we won't be leaving the mine as long as that monster is out there. Um, hmm, there might be someone in the mine. Maybe they can help me. All right, but how are you gonna get across there, motherfucker? Don't need to jump that far. I need to find another way across. Yep. Though I am going to say, I'm, I'm kind of taking back some of the stuff I was saying at the beginning of this playthrough about, like, how I was concerned that this was going to be some random nonsense happening to them, to this unfortunate person. It seems like they're actually keeping up with a lot of... Oh, there's how I'm getting across, I guess. With a lot of the stuff that made Lovecraft good. Why am I looking up? Why did I look up? Because it's like... Yeah, it just kind of randomly happened, but at the same time, we're finding, along with the narrator, while it seemed to the narrator that it just randomly happened, we're discovering, uh, just like him, just like us, that what happened wasn't necessarily random, that it's the consequences of someone else's actions. Okay. No, not yet. Okay. Let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't like that. I don't like that thing at all. What the fuck is that? Son of a fuck. Oh, it's a Cthulhu thing. Is that the orb? No, that's the orb. Okay. No. No. What? Where? Oh. Oh, shit. Run away. Oh, 
Well, that's not too bad, actually. Ran away, ran away, ran away. Are you gonna turn around and leave me alone at any point? Or is running away pointless? Once you've seen me, you've seen me. No? Okay, so it's not pointless. Alright, now seeing that the monster looks like a fucking doof, I'm not as worried, actually. A lot of, uh... A lot of fear just went away from me. <laughs> However, what the fuck? Where? Okay. Whoop, that's not right. Seem to be looking for me like to step into the light, so I'm wondering if I just avoid light. If it just won't ever notice me. That of course begs the question. Where the fuck am I going? I don't want to stay away from all that. What the fuck? Okay. Spotted me. So that's... So I have no idea where I'm going. guys well honestly it's a little earlier than what I had wanted but yeah it's not too bad I've given this game enough uh it's honestly I'm honestly kind of unimpressed with it now that I've seen the monster and the way they're gonna handle monster chases I kind of really don't like it because it's like, part of it was not knowing when and where I was going to see the monster. But now that I have, and it's just like, oh, you're going to know because it's going to, the screen's going to go all like, we're going to put a big, like, thing on the screen and the music is going to go all like, ah, ah, ah. It's like, and it's going to be long before the monster catches you. It's like, no, I don't like that. I, I just really don't like that. Just kind of takes a lot of the suspense out for me. But anyways, uh, that's it for me today. So I guess I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, later.